previously on Ditching the Split. This is gonna be a fireplace. Surprise. So that's the rough framing done. It was gorgeous, everything was going good, and there's a boom. The whole thing exploded. We're starting drywall today. Exciting day. Let's Exciting see. day for who? I'm about to lose it. Turned off the camera because I was getting a little bit cranky. New, improved, was there a problem? Why is there a new and improved glass? Okay, come here, everybody in. <laughs> Welcome to episode 21 of Ditching the Split. Um, does this look any different from the last episode? I guess it did. We started the last episode without a fireplace and drywall, and now we have both. It's ready for primer. Um. What <laughs> 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 was the point of reason we're bringing it out here? <laughs> we're gonna prime and paint and see how far we get with other stuff. There's small little odds and ends while we wait for the bigger supplies. So we'll just see where this video takes us. There's no plan. Yes, yeah. <laughs> There's no real plan. All of the drywall is up. It has been sanded. It's looking really good to see it all as one wall instead of, you know, how it was before. Wires and insulation. And <laughs> yeah. It looks nice to see it kind of finishing off. The part that I really like looking at is the hallway there. Because we, since we moved in, we had the plaster crown with like a drop. It was framed down into the hallway. So it always looked like the hallway was lower and kind of like a totally different space. But since we got rid of that and this is open now and the ceiling into the hallway is pretty much flat all the way. Like it just comes down and across. Just seeing that like that makes the whole hallway look even bigger, I think. And I feel like I did a killer job with this drywall. So I don't sand between coats. I've gotten significantly better than I used to. I would put way too much mud on and then I would literally have to sand it, put a little more on, sand it, and do that like three or four times. I feel like I did a really good job. I did three light coats, spreaded it out nicely. The sanding took a couple hours. But yeah, pra just practice, practice, practice. Like. I've done a few jobs where I did the mud myself now and it turned out good, but yeah. You can even put this on the Amazon storefront. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you can start on that inside corner. Okay, bestie. Where I started. What do I use? The whole container? Whatever you want. You can put it on the bench or something. Where or am I starting? The far right. Right here? No, the right side of the room. My right is this side. This is the right side of the room. Yeah, this. Oh. Catch me outside while you did. She didn't say that. Catch me outside while you did. Catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside while you did. I'm so excited to put a Christmas tree in here. Yeah, me too, actually. So, so, what do you have to say for yourself? Now what do we do? I'm getting used to living with the house like this. I'm not, I got nowhere to sit if you're in that chair. <laughs> I'm the type of person that always needs a chair. I love having a chair. And right now I have nowhere. Oh.
Good job, Blub. What is this? <laughs> it happens all the time. Don't even sweat it. Okay, you want me to pass these to you? Hello? Bueller? So I laid out the center of where the beams are going to go because we're going to have three beams, right? Okay. So there's going to be four quadrants on the ceiling. Okay. Okay. And this is just acting as backing because I, after these are in, I'm going to set up the laser exactly on the, like, the side of where the beam is going to be from one ceiling to the other. And we're going to nail on a two by six. So it's perfectly straight on all, like where all three beams are going to go. Right. Okay. So that, once the ceiling finish like material is on and we go to install our beams, there's going to be a two by six there mm -hmm. that you put the beam up and you can screw or nail into the side of the two by six to hold it up. It's just backing. It's all we're putting in. Okay, baby. Comprende? I guess. How many blocks did you cut? All of them. Fill this house with people and memories. Put some pictures. <coughs> 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 What's wrong with it? <laughs> What's wondering. wrong with it? No, for real. No, for real. Seriously. Seriously, babe. Seriously. Let me just get a quick measure. Hey, okay, like that girl that you watch. Tate McRae. Yeah. <laughs> Sit on the ladder. <laughs> I guess. Seven Texans. <laughs> it's not nearly as sexy when you do it though, babe. Why? Because I'm like. <laughs> Have a block, honey. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm you gotta okay. bring one. It's okay. Bring two. I'm all out. What? There's no more. No way. You need me to go cut more? You can have them any way. Yeah, you gotta cut any. one. So what I'm doing now, people of YouTube, my lovely subscribers, this is going to be backing for the beam. I have a laser set up so that it's straight from one side of the room to the other. So that when people come over, 
They look at it, they're not like, look at this hack job. Oh! <laughs> I can't wait to use that. Oh, is it on there? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. They're all chaotic, every single one. Yeah, you've just been cutting less of the chaos out. That's right. If you go back to the early episodes, the videos are shorter because I cut all this kind of stuff out of the episodes. But if you want to see the chaotic stuff, go to Andrew's channel where the episodes are longer. I leave the chaotic stuff in. Beautiful day, ain't it? Can you believe that we've been living with the paper on the floor? Mouse poop has touched it. Insulation has touched it. The dogs lay on it. And then they get in bed. I know, that's actually disgusting. Let's get rid of it. Well, don't just start random. It was laid in a pattern, so you want to take it up in a pattern. Disgusting. Oh my God, there's hardwood under here. Excuse me. Come here. Get him, William. I feel like we've mentioned this a hundred times, but because we took the wall out, we have to patch the flooring where it's missing, obviously. So you're not just gonna put little pieces in. I have to take it up. I've made X's kind of on the pieces that have to come up. So like these pieces are all gonna go and then new ones are gonna go in because these were cut. And that way the floor will just kind of flow through naturally how it's supposed to. So I gotta just, I'm gonna take these up and then I'm gonna have to kind of cut these in half break them to pull them out and slide the new ones in and I'm gonna, gonna have to glue them down. But yeah, that's basically what I'm starting to work on now. Why are you sitting so close? Come over here. He always wants to be helpful. You know, he must think he is being helpful sitting that close to us. PSA, you should put something under your dog's water bowl because this flooring is only four years old. It was right underneath where we used to, the dog's water bowl would be. And they aren't even big droolers, but we had some mold growing underneath the floor. We didn't even know. Wow, what a difference. This is a new, brand new piece versus four years old. You guys always DM and ask for information on our flooring. And honestly, I don't even know if I would recommend. I like, I like the color, but like the fact that it's so hard to keep it clean when it's this light with texture. And it's extremely fragile. Like the veneer on the top of it is so thin. Yeah. Because it's engineered hardwood, so it's not solid like oak all the way through. It's just the top veneer and the inside's like a plywood. It's not very thick and it's just, it dents. You, if I drop this, it leaves a huge mark. That shouldn't happen. Like. It was kind of expensive too. And I know flooring nowadays, like this is four years ago that we bought it. Flooring nowadays is super, super expensive, but for 2020, it was kind of expensive. And I think if I was to do it all over again, I would do a darker floor and just vacuum it often because we had darker floors in our last house. They were beautiful, but they show fur. But they didn't show like any scratches or marks or anything. 
That's right. I would rather have that than have like permanent dirt in the groove versus just dirt that you can vacuum up. It was a little more flooring than I did expect, I'll admit. Really? I didn't think it was gonna be like this much flooring that had to come up, but it's okay. You could have just patched it how it was, but then you would have, it would have looked horrible. It's like, okay. This is gonna look like the wall was never there, like, or the flooring was done after the wall was taken out. Okay. Wow, look at how fresh that is. So fresh and new. That's crazy. Is it really dirty? It's pretty gross. Let's change the head. It's not attached to the floor right now. The countertop's attached though? Yeah. Okay, because it felt like it lifted. Oh, your side's a little loose now, the counter. Uh oh. Should we take the counter off? It's heavy. No. <laughs> Try and lift up a little as you go. This looks crazy with the floor all done. That's good. It feels huge. Yeah, it does. The room feels so big. Cool, eh? Like the island, okay, so just for reference, the island is gonna get rebuilt a little bigger because there's the room for it now. With that wall previously there, we didn't have the room to do something like that. So we are gonna make it a little bit bigger, but to see it like this, this is really cool. It's interesting, eh? This is all IKEA, by the way. Like yeah. this isn't like any sort of like high-end whatever. This was literally an IKEA kitchen. Yeah, because this is gonna get pushed over this way pretty much in line with this piece of flooring. So another foot, this is gonna become an outlet in the island. The thermostat's gonna get moved. And then we have room to put another cabinet here to make it longer. And we're gonna make it deeper too, I think. We're gonna do skinny cabinets behind these ones. I know, I was just thinking if we even should add another cabinet here, or this is kind of a nice clearance. No, and I was just thinking like for like proportion, like it might be nice to actually like be in line with the stove a bit. Because it's gonna come a foot this way. Yeah. And we're adding two feet here. So really, we're only gonna add a foot here. So it'll be right there. Okay, yeah, that, that would look be good, yeah. It goes a little bit past the stove, but. So crazy. Oh, and that's cool, because the lights, you can see exactly where they're gonna hang. Oh, right. This has to come over a foot. A foot. And then, yeah. And so yeah, I think, yeah, we need to add another cabinet to it. And then bring it out this way. Yeah, we'll build it out. Don't you feel yourself falling in love with this house? Like it a lot more. Like sure. all over again, like all the things that we ever wanted to do and now we can do them. Oh yeah. I just feel so happy. I wanna thank you guys for watching another episode of Ditching the Split. The next two weeks are probably gonna be a little busy so the content should be exciting because we have our ceiling coming and our stone, we're sitting really close to each other right now. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying the episodes, I love seeing when you share it on Instagram. So tag me in your Instagram stories and I always try and repost your stories too. I just love seeing when people are watching. <laughs> if you guys haven't yet subscribed to Andrew's YouTube channel, make sure you do that. I'll put the link for it in the description and it's also saved as a link on our actual YouTube page. Lots of behind the scenes of the exterior makeover. I've been working on posting all of that content there. If you guys wanna see all the chaotic stuff that didn't make the episodes, it's gonna be there. As well as a few other things that Andrew's just excited to be filming, some tractor Yeah, some tractor, content. just small things that will hopefully be helpful more in depth rather than a large scale project. It'll be smaller parts of the project that is kind of teaching. Yeah, if there's anything in particular you guys want to see, any tutorials or whatnot, make sure you comment and that's really helpful for us. We will see you guys next week for another new episode of Ditching the Split. Bye. Bye.